Hello viewers, uh, last time we talked about recurring decimals where we looked at um, uh, a decimal with one recurring digit. This time round we are going to look at a two digit recurring decimal. 0 0.3636. If you put three dots it means, last time we learned that it means recurring. The digits that are recurring are 2, 3, 6, 3, 6. So as last time I told you that since we want to make a fraction, an ordinary fraction, we, um, we are going to give it a name. Let the fraction be, let the fraction be x, such that our decimal 0 0.360 recurring will be equivalent to that fraction which is x. As I told you, this can be named equation 1. And then, in order to move the decimal to the next two places, because to separate the recurring places, I mean the recurring decimals, which are two, you need to multiply by 100 on both sides. 100 times x, and this side is 0 0.3, recurring times 100. This will give me 100x, which is as good as 36.3, Recurring, the decimal point will move two places behind six and the recurring will continue to be there. Um, from here, this will be a second equation created. As I told you last time, we need to subtract. So we can say subtracting, subtracting equation one from equation two. So equation 2 is this one, equation 1 is this one. So in our equation 1 is 100x, which is as good as 36.36. It will continue. Take away, I'm subtracting from this side. Take away the x, which was equivalent to 0. I respect the decimal place, uh, the decimal point, 0 0.36, which was also continuing. Then from there, our subtraction will give us 100x, take away only 1x, which gives us 99x. And then on this side, we shall subtract it from our left. It is not like ordinary numbers where we subtract from the right. So this is 36, take away 0, which remains 36. 3, take away 3, which is a 0. 6, take away 6, which is a 0. So 36.00 is the same as 36. So 99x is as good as 36. And our next step, we shall be dividing both sides by 99. Even here by 99, x alone will give us 36 out of 99. But remember the question was telling us to change 0 0.366 recurring to a common fraction in its simplest form. So we're bound to reduce this one. We can use 3 to reduce 3 into 3 once into 6 twice. 3 into 9, 3 into another 9, 3, which means we have 12 of out of 33, which can still be reduced. By 3, I have a 4. By 3, I have 11. So x alone will be as good as 4 out of 11. This is the common fraction, which is equivalent to the recurring decimal 0 0.0636 recurring. Therefore, 0 0.3636 recurring is as good as 4 out of 11. Thank you. We have an assignment which is attached to this activity we have gone through. So make sure you do it and after doing it, you return it back to us for marking. Thank you.